With today's mobile technology, one of the most powerful tools available to help rescue homeless pets is at all our fingertips. Pictures and videos are great for marketing animals to the 24 million families in the USA that acquire new pets every year. But before you go grabbing your phone and start snapping pictures, some simple tips can turn them from blah into bang. Coming up, I'll share some tricks for making the most of pictures and videos to help you market your animals best and save the largest number of pets possible. As an old-timer to animal rescue, I'm thrilled with how technology has helped shelters and rescues more easily share homeless pets. Today, using software like Rescue Suite, we can, in a matter of seconds, add photos and videos to user-friendly screens and automatically post them on hundreds of pet search websites in lost and found systems and microchip registries. I remember the old days before social media when none of that was true. But I also cringe when I see some of the photos and videos that are being spread around. You know that old saying, a picture paints a thousand words? Well, what words do you think a picture like this is painting? Uh, I assure you they're not good ones. But I'm here to help with 12 tips to help you make your pet photos and videos look more like this. And all of the tips are much easier than you might think. And trust me, I'm not a professional photographer, so if these tips can help me make my pictures and videos better, they can help yours too. Tip number one, and probably the most important tip of them all, it's all about the lighting. Good, sharp, clear pictures or videos require good light. In fact, photography has been described as painting with light, and the more of it that you have, the easier it is to do well. More light means the depth of field or the focus in the picture can be deeper, meaning more of the picture will be in focus. It, it also means that the shutter on the camera will open and close more quickly, meaning Moving animals will show less motion blur in the photograph. Colors will also be brighter and contrast will be enhanced. The whole picture will be better. The best light is bright but soft and diffused and not intense or glaring. Studio lights with diffusers are absolutely ideal. If those aren't available, take shelter pet photos in the brightest area you can find. Indoors, Find a bright window and let the light from the window shine on the pet's face, avoiding backlighting whenever possible. Otherwise, take the pet outside in the daylight for brighter pictures and videos. And while we're on the topic of lighting, please don't use the flash unless there's absolutely no way of avoiding it. The back of the eyeballs of most animals is very reflective. In low light situations, when the pupils of the eyes are opened up and a flash hits them straight on, this can turn a happy pet into one that looks like it's possessed by demons. So if at all possible, just say no to the flash. Tip number two, keep the background clean, simple and tasteful. A busy, dirty, or cluttered background takes attention away from your subject and can be very distracting. Suggestion, you can set up a simple photography area with a pleasant backdrop and studio lights with little money or effort. This can save countless hours struggling to get the right shot while improving the quality of your pet videos and pictures. Oh, I know what you're saying. I can hear some of you now. Quote, but we don't have the spare space to take the pictures. Well, you don't even need much room. This is where I shoot these videos. 
And the fact of the matter is, you're already taking pictures, you're taking them somewhere, and by adding some extra attention to where you're doing that, even if it happens in your dog kennels, you can make sure that that area is clean, bright, and ready to be shown to the public. Tip number three, change your perspective. People frequently look at dogs and cats while they're in a standing position. Therefore, taking photographs of pets from that angle isn't all that interesting. A more intimate and captivating image can be created simply by lowering the camera to the animal's height so that they can be photographed from their own perspective. Tip number four, compensate for color. Anyone who's photographed shelter pets knows that black or other dark colored animals are more difficult to take pictures of. That's because less light reflects off their fur, meaning that less ambient light actually reaches the camera. Be sure you have, are setting the exposure right to match the color of your pet. Tip number five, think layout. Different social media and pet search sites have different standards for pictures and video shapes, and it can all seem really complicated. But following these simple suggestions can get you past all that really quickly. Most importantly, when shooting video, turn your phones or tablets sideways so that the video will be wider than it is tall. Doing this will ensure the video is formatted to fit computer screens television sets, and mobile devices. Failing to do it means that people will have to look at tall, skinny videos on wide screens, meaning that they'll have to look at black blobs next to your video. Let your pet's faces shine by turning, turning your camera sideways. Layout for photographs is a little bit less sensitive, but different sites have different standards and the format that works best for all of them really is square. This means that you can take your pet photographs either vertical or horizontal and then crop them to a square format or approximately square. If you're a Rescue Suite software user, horizontal videos and squarish photographs will ensure that your pet photos and videos will look their best on all of the pet search websites. Tip number six, photo bursts and short videos for moving animals. We've all had the experience of trying to photograph a pet that won't sit still. By the time you click the camera shutter, the pet has moved and what would have been the perfect shot turns out to be a total mess. But most pet cameras have a shooting mode that's called something like burst. It's different on different cameras. Using the burst mode, a series of photos are taken in rapid succession when the shutter is pressed. Doing this makes it more likely that you'll capture the perfect shot on a moving pet. You can also take short video clips and export a single frame of the video as your perfect still image. Tip number seven, get their attention. Use squeaky toys, cat string toys, treats, make funny sounds, all to get the pets to look at you. It's much more engaging if they're looking at you. Tip number eight, enroll a handler. The only thing more difficult than taking an active pet's photo is trying to hold it while you're doing that. So having a handler can make all of the difference in the world. When you're heading off to take shelter pet photos, bring a friend along. Tip nine, take plenty of photos and videos so that you can pick the best ones. There's nothing worse than realizing your photos out of focus later. Tip 10, make the switch to video as fast and as often as possible and in every way possible. It's just as easy to take short videos of pets as it is still photos, and sometimes it's even easier to catch a good video than a still. And videos are much more interesting to watch. A bad video is often better than an okay photo. Traffic to pet pages, as well as likes and shares for them, go up when you use video. But of course, keep taking some still photos too. Just make sure that every pet has at least one good photo and video. Tip 11, use a tripod to keep your videos stable and your images crisp. 
Shaky videos or pictures with motion blur are simply blah. Tip 12. Use a Bluetooth camera shutter so that you can snap pictures when you're not standing right next to your tripod mounted camera. This can help you manage positions of pets, lighting, toys, and all the other things while snapping pictures. Following these simple tips can help you put your pet's best paw forward, help them reach broader audience, and most importantly, help generate more adoptions. So get started today and be sure to share this video with all the people that you know who take pictures and videos of shelter pets. Thank you.